Digvijay, well, you've just returned from the Hockey World Cup in Orisha. Clearly, heartbreak for India. You're aware of what's been going on behind the scenes. So, uh, let me ask you this bluntly. Was Graham Reed asked to go? Yes, Neha. Uh, what I have been hearing from people on the ground, these are private conversations, obviously. And I reached Bhubaneswar on uh, just the day after India crashed out of the World Cup and clearly it was not a very happy place to be because a lot of money had been spent. You know, hosting a World Cup is 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 very expensive proposition and uh, obviously the tempers were, were high at that point of time. I was told that there was a meeting of a lot of uh, senior minds in Hockey India as well as there were other special uh, uh, invitees as well and clearly the the, the feedback was that India had regressed since that, that Olympic uh, medal in, in Tokyo. Uh, I think there was a review which also happened on, on Sunday, even just before the final, in which uh, members of the selection committee met a few of the players. They also met Graham Reed and his technical staff. And a decision by then had been made that India could not sort of go ahead this way because Graham Reed. Uh, for all his services to Indian hockey, uh, the selection was under question. The, the the players who took the the shootout in that match against New Zealand were inexperienced. There were a lot of questionable decisions, and I was also told that when the team was selected, Graham Reed had admitted that he was putting his head on the line by selecting what, what he felt was a team that could deliver World Cup glory. So yes, Hockey India was not happy, and uh, they decided to hand him an honourable exit. And that's what Graham Reed and his uh, team have taken. He's still going to serve a month's notice in India. But for all practical purposes, he was asked to go. For all practical purposes, he was asked to go. But Digvijay, getting rid of a coach uh, is not new really in Indian hockey. However, uh, with just a year and a half to go for the next Olympic Games, is there a replacement lined up? That's the big question. As I see it, I don't think there is a replacement lined up. And that's the reason why this decision was not announced immediately. Uh, there was a feeling that, you know, Graham Reed could face the ignominy of being sacked in the middle of a World Cup. But, but clearly, they are trying to find out. But what happens, Neha, in hockey is that uh, contracts for coaches actually are written between Olympics to Olympics. And the last Olympics remember was delayed by a year so just three years to go for the paris olympics as things stand in 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 a year and a half you're going to have the olympics so no coach is going to sort of leave their respective teams right now the the world cup was sort of a a, a test case for them to see where this where they stood as as far as i am aware there are only two high profile coaches out there in the market so far roland Oldmans who's a former coach of the Indian hockey team. He's currently uh, a consultant with uh, the government of Madhya Pradesh in India. And there's Sigfrid Eichmann, who I spoke to when I was in Bhubaneswar, who technically is still the coach of Pakistan, but he, but he hasn't got paid for eight months, so he's flown home. And he came to India on his own to, to be part of the FIH coaching course. That's, that's the call they've got to take. And let's not forget, before the Olympics, Neha, there's also the Asian Games, which are supposed to be held this year in, in September. And the winner of the Asian Games gets a direct ticket to the Olympic Games or else you'll have to go through the uh, sort of a qualification system. So that's the worry. And, and if India doesn't win uh, uh, the gold at the, uh, at the Asian Games, you're looking at, us, at, at another coach being sacked. So uh, short term fixes don't happen. Whatever decision they take, it's got to, it's got to be the right one. Absolutely. Some very critical decisions lie ahead for Indian hockey. Thanks very much, Digvijay, for getting us all those details.